Today's pattern magic style is called a camisole with a gathered hole. The book says, a design where the luxurious fabric used for the camisole is fitted to the body with design lines and appears to have sprung from the gathered hole. This model is a serious puzzle from start to finish, a perfect example how 3D can help to assemble a complex design and save you lots of time. It involves lots of cutting, spreading and merging. If you want to follow along, you can download a Clo3D project file, see the Gumroad link in the video description. If you are interested in Clo in 3D prototyping and want to learn more, I have a course for beginners on Udemy you might be interested in. You will find the link to the course in the video description. So let's get started! Welcome back everyone! Today we are going to work on a style called camisole with a gathered hole. We begin with developing the camisole base. So let's start. First of all, you see that we start with the back. Uh, we have three sections, 16, 18, 14 centimeters, and then we get this asymmetric angle. First of all, develop the symmetric part down to this 24 centimeters or so and then I will remove the symmetry and create this part here. I will add these 16, 18 and 14 48 centimeters and the width I will make 20 centimeters. Okay, so first of all, I will mark the 16 and 18 parts. After this, I will extend this um, second line. So we have 20, 24, so by 4 centimeters. Next, I will raise this edge by 2 centimeters. And then curve it slightly, but for that I would like to um, create symmetry first. So I can see the shape of the edge. That looks good. So next one is probably this part here. It says that this is where the straps will be sewn in and it shows that the strap is 0 0.7. So I will create, a, I will place a point here. marking where the strap will be sewn in. Next, let's see what we have. I will create a line here and line here. Next, I will just extend this angle. Um, I will extend this line to here. This is where we are right now. Okay, so it looks like we are finished with a symmetrical part. I will delete these points here, delete the symmetry, and start developing this part. So the point is located six centimeters away from the edge. Okay. Next, the vertical line is required and this vertical line will have to be extended by three centimeters at first. Okay so this is this three centimeter
three centimeter level from this three centimeter level to the left we need to draw another line so what I'll do is extend my side seam here and from this point to the left we'll draw a perpendicular line great here it is so now we need to draw this one it's 11 centimeters away from our symmetry line and 18 centimeters long I'll add perpendicular internal line and I'll make it 18 centimeters long and 11 centimeters away from that edge great here it is also there's a point three centimeters to the right from our angled line here so let's do that three okay let's make this correct shape so this point goes here then this line connects to six centimeter point like this and this point here goes like this okay that looks good next we need to soften these edges and let's take our tool and just do a little bit like that and same on the right side like that maybe next I will mark all the things inside that we need so here is the dart first one is nine centimeters away from the center another one is five let's mark that nine and next one is five after this we have points here so it looks like we need four two six and two four two six and two what else do we need six centimeters here and nine centimeters here I like this and also there's a point here one centimeters above this 24 centimeter line done okay let's make uh, let's create this darts I'll draw uh, internal line take my tool and curve this out so this is this dart here I will create this leg first I will place it at this point and then just curve it out to make it nice and smooth probably a bit closer to the 
edge here something like this and another one coming from starting at nine centimeter point and then going here finishes somewhere here two maybe a little bit curved like this looking great next start one and um six centimeter point by the looks of it it sort of goes on a straight line from there onwards so let's curve it out like this and another internal line also curved and then from here to a nine centimeter point on the straight let's take a look it looks great let's draft the front so the front has 23 18 and 14 and after that it becomes asymmetric so let's do the same thing we'll add 23 18 and 14 centimeters 55 and width 21 now we can unfold this and begin the work so symmetrical parts 23 centimeters first here next is 18 i'll draw the internal lines okay so here we have 21 here's 21 as well here is 25 so another four centimeters okay next let's mark this point here 12 centimeters from the front and 0.7 this is where the strap will be sewn on. Great. Next, let's do the dart. So we see that the tip of the dart is 10 centimeters away from the middle and 7 centimeters away from the top. Let's draw a perpendicular line marking the position of the tip. To do that, I will create a perpendicular line to a local axis and the length of it will be seven centimeters and it will be away by 10 centimeters from the edge and this is the position of the tip we see that the width of the dart is five centimeters so i will mark the center of it actually i might probably just mark it with a point and then i will create a dart which will be five centimeters total and the length I'll just switch this off 11 centimeters great and then you see that it's sort of um, shaped a little bit it doesn't say uh, what the distance here is but looking at the other sort of measurements I see the one centimeter approximately that much it looks sort of the same and I will do exactly the same thing so i will extend this line by one centimeter like this we got the dots next i will extend this line here this is our 25 centimeter line i think our symmetrical parts are over at this point so i will remove the symmetry and now extend this line further out like 
like that. So here's our 14 centimeters. I'll delete these points and add a symmetry line here. So this is 14 centimeters here. Yeah. I will create a perpendicular line. I will draw a perpendicular line 9 and 18. So 18 centimeters long, 9 centimeters away from the center front. Oh, it looks like I'm, we drafted the perpendicular to the wrong one. Hold on. No, perpendicular goes to our 14 centimeters. So that means it's here. So let's add another perpendicular. Length 18, distance 9. Great, that's much better. That looks right. And like this. Three centimeter, eighteen centimeters, and then on the other side, we have three centimeter line going below here. Let's do this. Okay, three centimeter, is it? Yeah. And from here, I will draw a line. I wonder if I'll be able to do this. No? Okay. So I will extend this line a little bit further to give me some room. Draw a perp perpendicular. And then here is eight centimeter point. Easy. Eight. I'll add another point here and shorten it here and like this and get rid of this point. Here we go. What else do we need? So we have three, 18 and nine, three and eight. Delete that. No, not yet. Okay. 25 and 21 and we have these ones great so we have finished the main part let's start on the darts and other elements so from the top three and a half centimeters point four another four And we'll draw a little line here. Great. Four centimeters. Then we have a dart which is 12 and 2. So 12 centimeters from the center front and 2 centimeters. Let me check. Make sure there's 12 here. And 2 centimeters wide. Next thing is 3 centimeters above the 25 centimeter line three and then we go into this section here which I will need to sort out first I can mark one centimeter point here good so we have all the points we can mark so far. Let's concentrate on this part here. So first we need this vertical line, which is located 13 centimeters away from the center front. 13. And I'll just create this like that. On this line, 
eight centimeters from the top we have um, a circle which is four has four centimeter radius so let's mark the eight centimeter point and then we'll create an internal ellipse with a radius of four centimeters that's done now this vertical line extends past the 25 centimeter line by two centimeters two centimeters and then this dot that we will draw will be created and on it we have these two points which are five centimeters away from this vertical line and there's also a two centimeter point here which we need to create so let's just do that two i'm not quite sure what that yet but we will figure it out so let's make this beautiful dart. I'll start with the outer leg of it. Got here, not quite. And then this point here. And then it curves all the way to this two centimeter point like this. All right, we need a little bit more, maybe, what does it look like? Does it look good? I think it looks fine. Now we will draw the other leg of the dart. Okay. And now we can mark this point. So five centimeters, five centimeters either side of this vertical line. Five to the left and five to the right, which we need to connect with the center of our ellipse. All right. One and two. Right, let's see. It looks like this point and this point are significant. So we need to make sure that we keep keep an eye on these points when we work on them. In fact, let's mark little lines here just in case. Okay. Um, so let's check. We have the strap attachment points. We have the bar start here. We have the dart curved. We have the circle two centimeter point. We have five centimeter points here. We need to curve these lines here. Let's do that. Just making sure that the angle is sort of closer to 90 degrees so we can connect them easily later on. And this one is a bit bigger, much bigger like this, this way. Okay. And it looks like we're done. Next part will be marking the cutting lines on the pattern pieces. But before we go, let's create the straps. We still have the strap pieces here, which is 43 centimeters long and 0.7 wide. That's really one min one minute job here, so 0 07 and 43. Since they are symmetrical, we'll create a symmetrical one. And 
And while we're at it, might as well sew them in place so we don't have to deal with this later. Here and here. And maybe, since we're here, let's place this camisole on our model. So we got the front here and the back there. So let's do the front. And the back. And just do a little bit of sewing. This is close. It's great. So the side seams. One, and another one, and next we have to sort these um, straps, they look like they a little bit A little bit out of the place. I'll just turn it. And then we'll sew them on. We got this little edge here. Let's take this one. Let's take another one. So the straight sewing is probably easier. So one. And this tiny little one here. And same with this one. Like this. Okay. Here we go. The calico bodice is ready. It looks alright. I think we, we could probably clean up here a little bit, but it probably will be fixed during the cutting anyway. I will not do any fitting at this point because I would like to follow the instructions exactly, so I will leave it exactly as it is. It looks good. We're ready to continue. Next step is marking the cutting lines and cutting. I will start with the front. You see that we have cutting lines coming out of, uh, from the center of this circle and also some points here have been, have been marked as well. Let's mark the points first. Nine and two centimeters away from the angle. I'll remove this one. And mark these points, 9 centimeters and 2 centimeters. Next, there's one 2 centimeters away from this center line. I'll get it at this point, extend the line, and offset it. like this okay cool next is 10 centimeters from the right edge and then another one 10 centimeters below that so let's do this Okay, 10 and 10. Got these points. Excellent. 
Now, let's mark it. So first point, I will mark from the center to the past point. Next, this one. Then one at the waist. Then there's a line split in two. So I'll leave this at this time and go to the side. We'll do the waist. Then these ones are done. One is four centimeters above this cutting line. Like this. Then there's one somewhere in the middle. So it, it says that these distances don't have to be equal. So somewhere between is good enough. Like this. These two we already have. There are points connected here to the hem. So let's just extend this little lines that we already had to the nine point, nine centimeter and two centimeter point. After this, we have this two centimeter offset line, which has to continue all the way up to the curve. And after this, we will deal with this. So I will cut it. Just select this dot, cut. and remove the bit inside. Now we'll just move it slightly down. And you see that we have to have this line here starting at the center and going to this point. So I will just move it closer, slightly closer, and place a point right here. Now I can connect these two points and we got this cutting line. So next has to be in the middle. You see that this distance has been split into two and then connected with the center of the circle. And this is exactly what I'm going to do. First, I will get rid of all the points that, that are in the way. like this one and this one. Now we can split this into two and create the cutting line. Okay, so we have these ones sorted. Let's work on the lower pattern piece. So we see here that we have one, two, three, we already marked. And then there's two more, which are 10 centimeters away from the a right side seam and also go here where the distance again is split into two. So this one ends up at the waistline. This way. And this one is halfway. So between this point and that point. And here it is. Join it with the 10 centimeter point here. So I think we're good. So let's check 10, 10, 2, and 2, and 9, 1, 2, 3 on this side, and 2 here. This one to the center, to the waistline, bust points, and the waist here. Great. Let's move on to the back. It looks like it's a bit easier on this side, so let's start. First one is center back to waistline. One. Done. Next, it looks like we're going to split somewhere here. So I will get rid of the darts first. Let's cut them out.
like this and now it can work easier so what we see here is this distance has to be equal to this distance and it's to the waistline so it should be okay then one line goes from about I don't know from here probably a bit higher and ends up here but the distance this distance should equal this one so let's just see what this distance is and it is seven six seven let's do that split it and then connect this with that let's just approximately somewhere here okay next this distance has to equal this distance and that is five seven six here we go and this point is connected to point on the cutting line which is five centimeters away from the edge okay five and then it goes here where, um, where the point is seven centimeters away from the side seam okay got it done let's do one two and three well one two and finally from here to here good next one is two centimeters away from this cut two centimeters and connected to here somewhere i think it looks parallel to the um, um it's parallel to the center front so let's just do that straight up like this next is here two centimeters away from center front and parallel to it Two centimeters yes here it is then another one two centimeters away from the corner and then this distance divided by two like this this is the point so the two centimeter point ends up 14 centimeters away from this and this one ends up at the waist so that one is easier let's just do let's do this one first at the waist right here and this one 14 centimeters from here 14 centimeters away from here so let's move this pattern piece slightly up and then split great here it is right up there so line goes from here all the way there okay what else do we need we need to get rid of this that's in the way we have one two three lines four five six seven eight Right, one more thing to check is that this distance until this point should be equal to this distance here. It might not be exactly the same, but let's hope it is. Let's take a look. So distance, this one. 
1935 1934 excellent pretty much the same okay the marking is done so let's cut these pattern pieces we can cut and assemble let's start here at the front so first of all we can cut out this circle and then we'll get uh, this hole and I'll just clean up some of the lines that we have left over so it, they don't get too confusing later on so we can cut one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven let's do it oh and twelve one more here there Right, and this one cut and go down here. Right, so the first thing we need to do is close these dots, bus dots. Let's move this out of the way. I'll switch on the colors just to make sure I can see things. All right, the first thing, yeah, you know, first I will close this. This one is the most obvious one. I'll move it to this pattern piece. Like this. Great. Now we can probably move this out of the way. And deal with this. So, left, left bar start. It looks like it didn't cut here, doesn't it? Oh no, I didn't have to. Get rid of this. And this, and this, and also that. And this. But I'll add a notch at center front, like this. Okay, next we'll close this bar start. Great. This is the pattern piece here and for now I will leave it alone because we have to spread it in a particular way. So I'll just leave that. Let's go to the back and cut the pattern here. So, just like with the front, just get rid of some unwanted lines. Select the lines. So now all pattern pieces have been cut. Let's see what we've got. We have A, the pattern piece A, which is uh, this one. And it will include all these pieces as well. Then this pattern piece, another A, which is uh, this one. Pattern piece B. And pattern piece D which is there and C which is in the middle okay so let's just spread them apart to make sure that we uh, we can understand what's happening so this is this is a from the back this is a from the front like this. Um, piece B is this one. Piece C is here. 
D is this one. Okay. Now the next thing to take a look at is that it looks like the grain has changed here. So it's horizontal now. So let's just do that. Like this. The rest should be fine so far. It looks like here we need to spread this. E well, we can easily do that with the tool. But of course we shouldn't have cut that. Guess what? Now we have to reassemble these pieces in order to use the tool. Right. Tool time. Fullness point. So here we spread it by 20 centimeters. I'll move it by 20. Then 22 centimeters. Then 18 centimeters. 13 centimeters. And finally 10 centimeters. Like this. Cool. Take a look at these points here. Remember this two points we had to really be aware of? Here they are. And they are still significant, so we need to make sure that we mark them appropriately. So let's just put notches in these two points. Cool. This one is almost ready. We'll trace it later. Let's spread other pattern pieces. So pattern piece C. Again, join it. And use the tool. So here we spread it by 14 centimeters and then by 10. Great. Next is this pattern piece. And we spread it with a tool. And let's do it. So 10 centimeters at this point. Then 12 centimeters here and 10 centimeters here. Great. Here we go. Now let's look at these pattern pieces here. This is the hardest part of them all. So it looks like we need to place this triangular piece next to this one because there's two points here, one and two, saying that we need to do that, right? So somewhere like this, okay? Then this points here, which is uh, this piece and then this little triangle here. So uh, this piece is this one, right? And a little triangle would be here. So the one that goes to the waistline, remember? So this one, by the looks of it. Oh, this piece goes into top here, this way. Right here, right? Yep, so that creates that shape. Next is this pattern piece, which is that. So this is curved and then slashed. And this triangle belongs to to it here. So this is one below, goes here, like that. Okay? And then we have this little triangle like that. So this is this edge and this is joined to this pattern piece here. That's a puzzle, isn't it? Like this. Now we have these two very important triangles um, which are located here, right? So this triangle is here. So it belongs here. Let's move these bits away. And this triangle stays on the other side. Okay. Right. 
So I will merge these pattern pieces that's supposed to stay together. This pattern piece has to be spread away from this point by seven centimeters. Okay, so let's create um, ellipse or a circle. Seven centimeters. That will work. Next is this here, 11 centimeters. So I will do exactly the same thing. Next is nine centimeters. nine and next is six okay now this part is done let's do the other side so these two already here and we've got this all four centimeter spread points which is excellent what we can do is simply merge these lines and then use the tool this part is done all the parts have been spread out next we will need to finish the outlines and get them ready for sewing so now these pattern pieces need to be traced to make sure that we can sew them and they look nice. Let's start with these simple ones. I will um, clone this reference line and just remove all the points that are making this um, unsightly and the jagged edge. And then after this, I'll just um, curve them out. Now, this one. So we see that it has been modified. The parts have been extended here. So I'll do the similar thing here for this complicated bit. But uh, instead of merging all these pattern pieces, I will create um, a copy of it, trace it. pattern piece and I'll put it on top so I'll trace it to here then you see there's some extended sort of bit I'll just um, create this um, piece I guess and then from this point to this one and same bit here and then there some point in there and here okay so i would like to address this ones first it's extended by 27 centimeters starting from this point so I'll just go from here, change length to 27 centimeters, 
then I will draw a perpendicular line which will be 16 centimeters long and at the edge of there I will place this here and then draw another one okay good so here's this bit it goes 27 then 16 then it sort of ends up curving into this piece here there there okay now I'll remove this one okay and the other one is sort of the same thing 27 16 and then it curves into some point there The point will be out there so I will take my curve tool so it curves somewhere around there and then up here like this okay well that looks all right now let's finish this pattern piece okay now let's remember that we have to transfer all these points now we have to transfer this distance onto our curved line so let's just measure it first it is 1751 so I'll create internal ellipse with 1751 radius and then at the point of intersection will be my point here now we don't need this ellipse I'll take the notch and place it at this point same here another thing here is that two centimeter point here is marked let's do that too so two centimeters off this edge and two centimeters off that edge too Okay, let's make sure that we have transferred everything we need. All the points. So I will clone this as a pattern. Here it is. And just put this aside. Just in case we need something else and just archive it. And same thing with this. All right, now we have this all these pattern pieces I'll remove the reference lines and base lines and now we have these so let's take a look what's happening in the 3d it's an absolute mess of course let's attach the straps where they belong
Now to assemble this garment we really need to look at the references. You remember that each of these pattern pieces had a name. So A for the front and back combined, B, C and D, B, C and D. To assemble it we really need to work one pattern piece at a time. And I will start with this A piece because this is the largest one and it has back and front in it. So I will deactivate the rest of the pattern pieces. And let's see what we have here. Okay, here we go. I'll just hold it here. And in the meantime, I will I will put pins in to make sure that my pattern piece stays more or less in place somewhere here. Like this. Okay. So here it is. One pattern piece is in place. Next one, I would say the D. D started here at the side, so it will be sewn somewhere here on the inner curve, right? Because outer curve is the side seam. So let's do that. I will sew to the notch and on the inner curve also to the notch, like this. Let me hide all other pattern pieces out of the way. Okay, here we go. We're getting something here. Here is the side pattern piece. And this one, you remember that this here is a is a hole. So this edge here will have to be gathered up. And these parts will have to be sewn together. So let's do that. I will first of all find this pattern piece here. Here it is. I'll get my edges. Let's get the edges here. Here they are. One. And put a pin in. And another one here. Like that. And now we can sew these edges together. Here we go. So this is that um, main pattern piece. I will straighten it up a bit to make sure it's nice and not curved, curved anywhere like this. Great. So this piece is done. Which one is the next one? So let's take a look. So here's the back and next is C. C on an inner curve. Let's take a look at the C and it's here. So I will sew here and here. In a curve and as long as it goes to here. Then of course we need that pattern piece visible. Here we go. Great. After that is B. B is here and it's been sewn along this edge to C.
bit of a collision there. Let's give it a little bit of a time. Here we go. And finally, these two edges are sewn together. So this, which is this edge, just a side seam. This edge and this edge, which is outer edge here. So let's do that. One and two. Let's do that. And finally, we'll get rid of some pins to settle all in place. Here we go. A little bit heavy, so maybe we'll just leave a couple, couple of pins to hold this construction in place. Okay. Oh. All right. So now what we can do is gather this hole to get this out of the way and then complete all the sewing underneath. So I will simply select this line and give it elastic of about 20 and maybe decrease the particle to give it a bit more smooth look and here it is so it's good it's out of the way let's take a look at these parts here so this part here and then this edge on the other side, here it is somewhere. Let me maybe strengthen it to see where that edge is. Here's my edge. So I need to sew, I need to sew this edge and that is understandable. And this edge, which is here. Fine, this time is great. All right, so we'll unstrengthen it. And now there's a final bit just here. Do you remember those two notches, these two significant points that we were always talking about right here? So it, it looks like we have sort of sewn properly to this notch, but the other one, you see, it's still short. We have part of the sewing here, but then another part will have to be here, closing this uh, part from the seam to the notch. So I will delete this sewing and create a new one. So it goes to the notch and then this part and this part to the notch have been sewn like this. So when we simulate we'll see that it's here it's closed and this is our 27 centimeters on each side frill which has been spread like when it was cut here and then spread apart and here is our dress let's remove this pin maybe not all pins let's keep some here just to make sure that our dress is holding in place Okay, here we go. And here we are. Here is the dress. So the only thing left to do really is to add this little um, drawstring here. I will not be doing the bow in this video, applying it or anything, but um, this here, this two centimeter point right here was actually to open seam right here because it was supposed to be folded over and the casing was to be created around here so we don't have the casing i mean we don't need to create the casing in that way so we can easily just um measure this line one four six four one create a rectangle say one centimeters 
tool and then sew this to this area here and they will create this um, illusion of the casing but for that of course we'll need to remove the elastic from here and add it to each side here so put it on and then I will sew it in one easy movement to this edge and of course the short sides will have to be sewn together as well okay let's do this and when we simulate we'll get this little flat piece let's give it a bit more oomph Here we are, looking better already. So you can play around and adjust the elastic to, to get the hole larger or smaller. You know, it's a pretty cool dress. That is a wearable piece, in fact. So yeah, have fun. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you next time.